Hello, I'm Charlene Butterfield, a director in the public finance group at Standard & Poor's. Last week, we affirmed our AAA long-term rating on various revenue bonds and our A1 Plus short-term rating on variable rate demand bonds and commercial paper, CP notes, issued for and by Harvard University in Massachusetts. The outlook remains stable. The AAA rating reflects our view of Harvard's impressive level of financial resources, rebounding operations, and excellent demand and enrollment. The A1 Plus short-term rating reflects Harvard's general credit strengths and considerable experience in managing its own liquidity. We consider Harvard's liquid assets, which are largely U.S. Treasuries, as more than sufficient and of high credit quality which it can use to cover the purchase price of variable rate demand bonds or CP notes that have been tendered but not successfully remarketed. The university has demonstrated the policies and procedures necessary to provide self-liquidity and has a long record of managing this risk and maintaining liquidity for this purpose. The stable outlook reflects our expectation that during the next two years, Harvard's demand trends will likely remain extremely strong and financial operations will continue to be at least balanced on a generally accepted accounting principle or GAAP basis, including the university's various components of endowment spending. The stable outlook also reflects our expectation that overall liquidity will likely remain stable and that any potential debt issued will be commensurate with growth in expendable resources. Standard & Poor's would consider the dilution of expendable resources to a level inconsistent with other AAA-rated private colleges and universities a credit risk that could lead to a negative outlook or rating action. In addition, we would view the failure to maintain at least balanced operating performance on a gap basis or a significant increase in debt beyond current levels as credit risks that could result in a lower rating or a negative outlook. For additional information on Harvard University, please see our report published April 1st on our global credit portal. Thank you for watching Credit Matters TV.